when I started playing football and you know training training you know I had a I had a different mentality I was like you know what I want to be Cameron's first professional football player and you were I instilled that in my head you were still that in my head you know I went to practice every day I trained hard and hard and hard because you know I wanted to be something I wanted to be something that this island never came across like a first female women professional football player How great it is to see so many people here at the Harkville Theater. Our future, as you all are proving, has absolutely no limits. And tonight, tonight, we will shine a light on your foundation and your future. SIFA has gone above and beyond what anybody could have expected or hoped for. So here is how this evening is going to work. Just a reminder. We've got two panels with some of the key players in women's football here in this region that will participate in both of those panels. Panel one, the girls and women of football here on Cayman. And panel two, the past, present, and future of women's football right here. Amanda Nelson is a teammate of Chanel and Ari's on the senior women's national team. Come on out. Get away, oh, hey, 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 give me a high five. Amanda playing hard to get. And for me, um, you know, just going out there, singing the national anthem, just represents mm. everything what I'm about. This is my island. This is where I'm born. You know, this is, I get to smell that sea breeze, the mangoes, everything. <laughs> this is where I'm from. I love know, it. And, yeah. And that's, that's pride I take. And, you know, it's, it's a big deal. Classes in between. So not only are you improving on your technical ability, you're also learning to manage, you know, time management, your priorities. My role model was Mia Hamm and Messi. I feel like anybody could reach that goal. Anybody could be a role model if you have the right mindset, the passion for the game. And I remember stepping out onto the field and lining up to take our picture and then the whistle blows and we get our first goal and everyone gets so excited we can hear the fans roaring and cheering. What's your favorite part about football? Very, very favorite part and why? Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a lot. Well, but I'd have to say my favorite part is that you're not alone on the pitch. You have a whole team that's there to help you whenever you need. They try their best. Everybody's there to help you. And that just seems very important because, well, I just don't like to be alone in things. Well, my favorite part about being on the pitch is when you have your teammates around you and you have, you know, you, you have courage to go up on the pitch because you have other friends who are encouraging you and t telling you that you have, you know, what it takes to go on the pitch and play. All the festivals, they're really fun because you get to meet new people mm -hmm. and maybe learn some skills from them their techniques, anything they've learned so far, their stories. How the, the, the opportunities are limitless when it comes to being a referee. So you can start locally and from there you can grow with the sport. Well, I mean, obviously I know I can't play forever. So I want to stay involved with the sport and I want people to follow my footsteps, get the opportunities that I've been given. And I want to do that to give back to them. And the only way I see myself doing it, since I don't really have the patience for coaching, <laughs> GG. Um, I want to do it on the administrative side. Um, our committee is, is small, but every single one of us is passionate about mm. football. The desire is always there. Um, I did not have the opportunities that all of these young ladies have. And, and if you could only appreciate just what you have compared to what we had. We didn't even have fields. I never saw a pair of football boots until I was an adult. Um, you know, we played in pitches, anything that was cleared off, but it wasn't grass. It wasn't turf. It wasn't artificial turf. You know, it was rocks and holes and scrub, but we didn't care, we played. Um, for me, I mean, the passion is, as Martha says, watching those girls, you know, having a smile when they're kicking a ball, having fun, and having like these girls like Casey, Riley, Kayla, Lexi, all these girls in school, every day saying, we want to play more, we want to play more, we want more opportunities, can we join a team? And this is what we're here for, to give these girls those opportunities, so it's on us, and we are ready to do this. 
And again, we're not going to say no. We're going to continue working and working until we reach every single child, girl. Whether they want to play football, they want to play, but we need to let them know that there's an opportunity for them. There's a chance for them to play football. Go ahead, Alexia. Well, I started off because of my dad, because he used to play football when um, he was in school, okay. and, but then he had an injury, so I'm like, I'm going to follow his legacy and go on. Like having this event, like regional, uh, it makes these girls believe they could be part of something bigger. Yeah. You know, like they, they, they feel they could actually belong to another level of football, and that's a great experience for them.